a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Hong Kong Hong Kong, officially the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of the People's Republic of China, is a special administrative region on the eastern side of the Pearl River estuary in southern China, with over 7.4 million people of various nationalities in a 1,104 square kilometers territory. Hong Kong is the world's fourth most densely populated region. Hong Kong became a colony of the British Empire after Qing China ceded Hong Kong Island at the end of the First Opium War in 1842. The colony expanded to the Kowloon Peninsula in 1860 after the Second Opium War, and was further extended when Britain obtained a 99-year lease of the new territories in 1898. The territory was returned to China when the lease expired in 1997. As a special administrative region, Hong Kong's system of government is separate from that of mainland China. Originally a sparsely populated area of farming and fishing villages, the territory has become one of the world's most significant financial centers and commercial ports. It is the world's seventh largest trading entity, and its legal tender is the world's 13th most traded currency. Although the city has one of the highest per capita incomes in the world, it has severe income inequality. The territory has the largest number of skyscrapers in the world, most surrounding Victoria Harbour. Hong Kong ranks seventh on the UN Human Development Index, and has the seventh longest life expectancy in the world. Although over 90% of its population uses public transportation, air pollution from neighboring industrial areas of mainland China has resulted in a high level of atmospheric particulates. Etymology the name of the territory, first spelled, Hong Kong, in 1780, originally referred to a small inlet between Aberdeen Island and the southern coast of Hong Kong Island. Aberdeen was an initial point of contact between British sailors and local fishermen. Although the source of the Romanized name is unknown, it is generally believed to be an early phonetic rendering of the Cantonese pronunciation Hong Kong. The name translates as, fragrant harbor, or, incense harbor. Fragrant may refer to the sweet taste of the harbour's fresh water influx from the Pearl River or to the odour from incense factories lining the coast of northern Kowloon. The incense was stored near Aberdeen Harbour for export before Victoria Harbour developed. Sir John Davis offered an alternative origin. Davis said that the name derived from Hunki, reflecting the colour of soil over which a waterfall on the island flowed. The simplified name Hong Kong was frequently used by 1810, also written as a single word. Hong Kong was common until 1926, when the government officially adopted the two-word name. Some corporations founded during the early colonial era still keep this name, including Hong Kong Electric, Hong Kong and Shanghai Hotels and the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation. History the region is first known to have been occupied by humans during the Neolithic period, about 6,000 years ago. Early Hong Kong settlers were a semi-coastal people who migrated from inland and brought knowledge of rice cultivation. The Qin Dynasty incorporated the Hong Kong area into China for the first time in 214 BCE, after conquering the indigenous Bayu. The region was consolidated under the Nanyu Kingdom after the Qin collapse and recaptured by China after the Han conquest. During the Mongol conquest, the southern Song court was briefly located in modern-day Kowloon city before its final defeat in the 1279 Battle of Yemen. By the end of the Yuan dynasty, seven large families had settled in the region, and owned most of the land. Settlers from nearby provinces migrated to Kowloon throughout the Ming dynasty. The earliest European visitor was Portuguese explorer Jorge Alvarez, who arrived in 1513. Portuguese merchants established a trading post called in Hong Kong waters, and began regular trade with southern China. Although the traders were expelled after military clashes in the 1520s, Portuguese-Chinese trade relations were re-established by 1549. Portugal acquired a permanent lease for Macau in 1557. After the Qing conquest, maritime trade was banned under the Heijin policies. The Qingxi Emperor lifted the prohibition, allowing foreigners to enter Chinese ports in 1684. Qing authorities established the Canton system in 1757 to more strictly regulate trade. 
restricting non-Russian ships to the port of Canton. Although European demand for Chinese commodities like tea, silk, and porcelain was high, Chinese interest in European manufactured goods was negligible. To counter the trade imbalance, the British sold large amounts of Indian opium to China. Faced with the drug crisis, Qing officials pursued ever more aggressive actions to halt the opium trade. The Daoguang Emperor rejected proposals to legalize and tax opium, ordering Imperial Commissioner Lin Zhechu to eradicate the opium trade in 1839. The Commissioner destroyed opium stockpiles and halted all foreign trade, forcing a British military response and triggering the First Opium War. The Qing surrendered early in the war and ceded Hong Kong Island in the Convention of Chumpi. However, both countries were dissatisfied and did not ratify the agreement. After over a year of further hostilities, Hong Kong Island was formally ceded to the United Kingdom in the 29th of August 1842 Treaty of Nanking. Administrative infrastructure was quickly built up by early 1842, but piracy, disease, and hostile Qing policies towards Hong Kong prevented the government from attracting merchants. The Taiping Rebellion, when many wealthy Chinese fled mainland turbulence and settled in the colony, improved conditions on the island. Further tensions between the British and Qing over the opium trade escalated into the Second Opium War. The defeated Qing were again forced to give up land, ceding Kowloon Peninsula and Stonecutters Island in the Convention of Peking. By the end of this war, Hong Kong had evolved from a transient colonial outpost into a major entrepot. Rapid economic improvement during the 1850s attracted foreign investment, as potential stakeholders became more confident in Hong Kong's future. The colony was further expanded in 1898, when Britain obtained a 99-year lease of the new territories. The University of Hong Kong was established in 1911 as the territory's first higher education institute. Kai Tak Airport began operation in 1924, and the colony avoided a prolonged economic downturn after the 1925-26 Canton Hong Kong strike. At the start of the Second Sino-Japanese War in 1937, Governor Geoffrey Northcutt declared Hong Kong a neutral zone to safeguard its status as a free port. The colonial government prepared for a possible attack, evacuating all British women and children in 1940. The Imperial Japanese Army attacked Hong Kong on 8 December 1941, the same morning as its attack on Pearl Harbor. Hong Kong was occupied by Japan for almost four years before Britain resumed control on 30 August 1945. Its population rebounded quickly after the war as skilled Chinese migrants fled from the Chinese Civil War, and more refugees crossed the border when the Communist Party took control of mainland China in 1949. Hong Kong became the first of the four Asian tiger economies to industrialize during the 1950s. With a rapidly increasing population, the colonial government began reforms to improve infrastructure and public services. The Public Housing Estate Program, the Independent Commission Against Corruption, and Mass Transit Railway were established during the post-war decades to provide safer housing, integrity in the civil service, and more reliable transportation. Although the territory's competitiveness in manufacturing gradually declined due to rising labor and property costs, it transitioned to a service-based economy. By the early 1990s, Hong Kong had established itself as a global financial center and shipping hub. The colony faced an uncertain future as the end of the new territory's lease approached. And Governor Murray McClehose raised the question of Hong Kong's status with Deng Xiaoping in 1979. Diplomatic negotiations with China resulted in the 1984 Sino-British Joint Declaration in which the United Kingdom agreed to transfer the colony in 1997 and China would guarantee Hong Kong's economic and political systems for 50 years after the transfer. The impending transfer triggered a wave of mass emigration as residents feared an erosion of civil rights, the rule of law, and quality of life. Over half a million people left the territory during the peak migration period, from 1987 to 1996. Hong Kong was transferred to China on 1 July 1997, after 156 years of British rule. Immediately after the transfer, Hong Kong was severely affected by several crises. The government was forced to use substantial foreign exchange reserves to maintain the Hong Kong dollar's currency peg during the 1997 Asian financial crisis. 
and the recovery from this was muted by an H5N1 avian flu outbreak and a housing surplus. This was followed by the 2003 SARS epidemic, during which the territory experienced its most serious economic downturn. Political debates after the transfer of sovereignty have centered around the region's democratic development and the central government's adherence to the one country, two systems principle. After reversal of the last colonial era Legislative Council democratic reforms following the handover, the regional government unsuccessfully attempted to enact national security legislation pursuant to Article 23 of the Basic Law. The central government decision to implement nominee pre-screening before allowing chief executive elections triggered a series of protests in 2014 which became known as the Umbrella Revolution. Discrepancies in the electoral registry and disqualification of elected legislators after the 2016 Legislative Council elections and enforcement of national law in the West Kowloon High Speed Railway Station have raised concerns about the region's independence. Government and Politics Hong Kong is a special administrative region of China, with executive, legislative, and judicial powers devolved from the national government. The Sino-British Joint Declaration provided for economic and administrative continuity through the transfer of sovereignty, resulting in an executive-led governing system largely inherited from the territory's history as a British colony. Under these terms and the one country, two systems, principle, the basic law of Hong Kong is the regional constitution. The regional government is composed of three branches, the chief executive is the head of government, and serves for a maximum of two five-year terms. The State Council appoints the Chief Executive after nomination by the Election Committee, which is composed of 1,200 business, community, and government leaders. The Legislative Council has 70 members, each serving a four-year term, 35 directly elected from geographical constituencies and 35 representing functional constituencies. 30 FC councillors are selected from limited electorates representing sectors of the economy or special interest groups, and the remaining five members are nominated from sitting district council members and selected in region-wide double direct elections. All popularly elected members are chosen with proportional representation. The 30 limited electorate functional constituencies fill their seats using first-past-the-post, or instant runoff, voting. 22 political parties had representatives elected to the Legislative Council in the 2016 election. These parties have aligned themselves into three ideological groups, the pro-Beijing camp, the pro-democracy camp, and localist groups. The Communist Party does not have an official political presence in Hong Kong and its members do not run in local elections. Hong Kong is represented in the National People's Congress by 36 deputies chosen through an electoral college, and 203 delegates in the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference appointed by the central government. Chinese national law does not generally apply in the region, and Hong Kong is treated as a separate jurisdiction. Its judicial system is based on common law, continuing the legal tradition established during British rule. Local courts may refer to precedents set in English law and overseas jurisprudence. Interpretative and amending power over the basic law and jurisdiction over acts of state lie with the central authority, however, making regional courts ultimately subordinate to the mainland socialist civil law system. Decisions made by the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress can also override territorial judicial processes. The territory's jurisdictional independence is most apparent in its immigration and taxation policies. The Immigration Department issues passports for permanent residents which differ from those of the mainland or Macau, and the region maintains a regulated border with the rest of the country. All travelers between Hong Kong and China and Macau must pass border controls, regardless of nationality. Chinese citizens resident in mainland China do not have the right of abode in Hong Kong, and are subject to immigration controls. Public finances are handled separately from the national government, and taxes levied in Hong Kong do not fund the central authority. The Hong Kong garrison is responsible for the region's defense, although the chairman of the Central Military Commission is supreme commander of the armed forces, 
the regional government may request assistance from the garrison. Hong Kong residents are not required to perform military service and current law also no provision for local enlistment, so its defense is composed entirely of non-Hong Kongers. The central government and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs handle diplomatic matters, but Hong Kong retains the ability to maintain separate economic and cultural relations with foreign nations. The territory actively participates in the World Trade Organization, the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Forum, the International Olympic Committee, and many United Nations agencies. The regional government maintains trade offices in Greater China and other nations. Administrative Divisions The territory is divided into 18 districts. A 479-seat district council, 452 of which are directly elected, represents each district and advises the government on local issues such as public facility provisioning, community program maintenance, cultural promotion, and environmental policy. Rural committee chairman, representing outlying villages and towns, fill the 27 non-elected seats. Political reforms and socio-political issues, According to Basic Law Articles 45 and 68, the goal is universal suffrage for the election of the Chief Executive and all members of the Legislative Council. Although the Legislature is partially elected, the Executive is not. The Government has been petitioned to introduce direct election of the Chief Executive and all Legislative Council members. These efforts have been partially successful. The Election Committee no longer selects a portion of the Legislative Council. Ethnic minorities have marginal representation in government, and often experience discrimination in housing, education, and employment. Employment vacancies and public service appointments frequently have language requirements which minority job seekers do not meet, and language education resources remain inadequate for Chinese learners. Foreign domestic helpers, predominantly women from the Philippines and Indonesia, have little protection under territorial law. Although they live and work in Hong Kong, these workers are not treated as ordinary residents and are ineligible for the right of abode. The joint declaration guarantees the basic law for 50 years after the transfer of sovereignty. It does not specify how Hong Kong will be governed after 2047, and the central government's role in determining the territory's future system of government is the subject of political debate and speculation. Hong Kong's political and judicial systems may be reintegrated with China's at that time, or the territory may continue to be administered separately. Geography Hong Kong is on China's southern coast, 60 kilometers east of Macau, on the east side of the mouth of the Pearl River estuary. It is surrounded by the South China Sea on all sides except the north, which neighbors the Guangdong city of Shenzhen along the Shamchun River. The territory's 2,755 square kilometers area consists of Hong Kong Island, the Kowloon Peninsula, the New Territories, Lantau Island, and over 200 other islands. Of the total area, 1,073 square kilometers is land and 35 square kilometers is water. The territory's highest point is Tai Mo Shan, 957 meters above sea level. Urban development is concentrated on the Kowloon Peninsula, Hong Kong Island, and in new towns throughout the new territories. Much of this is built on reclaimed land, due to the lack of developable flat land. 70 square kilometers is reclaimed from the sea. Undeveloped terrain is hilly to mountainous, with very little flat land, and consists mostly of grassland, woodland, shrubland, or farmland. About 40% of the remaining land area are country parks and nature reserves. The territory has a diverse ecosystem. Over 3,000 species of vascular plants occur in the region, and thousands of insect, avian, and marine species. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?